Hi friends, I'm so glad that you joined me for Sunday School. Do you remember what season we're in? That's right, it's Advent. And I have our special Advent wreath here, helping us count down the days to Christmas, helping us to prepare our hearts for Jesus. Okay, last week we lit the candle of hope and we remember that God sent Jesus to earth, his son, his baby boy to earth to bring hope to the whole world. Well, today we're gonna light a second candle. We're gonna light the peace candle. And another name for Jesus is the Prince of Peace because Jesus is here to bring peace on earth. How can you bring peace? Can you bring peace to your family, to your friends at school? How can you bring peace? Well, I have a great story and let's see exactly how we can fit in peace to this book. You may have read this story before. It's called The Mitten by Jan Brett. The Mitten by Jan Brett. The Mitten, a Ukrainian folktale adapted and illustrated by Jan Brett. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens, and finally, Baba made them. After she finished, she said, When you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside of it. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten, and he wiggled in, feet first. The mole didn't think they, there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered in prickles, they made room. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by all the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotted by, stopping to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten had made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size. 
but Baba's good knitting held fast. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into one, sp one space left. She made herself comfortable on top of the, bear of the great bear's nose. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 chew! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. On his way home, Nicky saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. He ran to catch it, his snow white mitten. He saw Baba's face in the window. First she looked to see if he was safe and sound and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. The End One way that we can open our hearts up for Jesus is to make room. Make room for what matters the most. Who matters most to you? Now, it sometimes is easy to make room for those people that we love. But sometimes God is asking us to do more. God is asking us to make room in our hearts for people who we're angry with. In the story, The Mitten, these animals, they made room for each other. And these animals aren't the kind of animals that are friends with each other. In fact, they're enemies. In life, most of these animals would eat each other. But in this story, they made room for each other. They took the time and they made room. They opened up their heart to have peace with each other. Who could you open your heart for this season? Okay, my art activity. I think that you should take a piece of paper and draw a mitten. And inside the mitten, you can draw your friends and your family, all the people that you are making room for. And then I would like you to add somebody else, somebody else that you are going to open up your heart for this week. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next week.